first step is to remove the old cam seal and uh, fit the new cam seal which is here in the kit. What I'm going to need to do is um, hold the cam gear in the soft jaws of a vise and then I have my 14mm um, single hex socket there and um, a breaker bar. I can simply place it on there and there you go, it's undone. Loose. Then I can just undo that, remove it from the soft jaws, they won't have done any damage to the uh, gear itself. I can just undo this, You notice I have um, the keyway in there. You don't really want to lose that, so if you can just try and ease that out. Just easing the gear out with side to side motion. Notice it's coming off here. Then in the back, you can see I've got the key where he's starting to show itself you can't really see that yeah. that's the key there and you can just place the cam down don't lose the key okay that's there then off with the old, that's the old cam seal, that's the way it came out. New cam seal, so it's got that side and this side. Just place that over there. Try to turn the seal inside out. There we go. It's on, goes to about there, then again, get the keyway in there, this is um, this kind of shape, you see it's slightly um, different there, so the thinner side wants to go in towards the cam and the fatter side is towards um, the outside of the cam, so this way it goes in, and it'll just sit in there. Okay, that's it sitting in there. Then I get the cam gear again. So obviously it's going to go in the same way it came off. I'll just work that in there. There you go, snaps into place. Then the bolt with the washer. And if you were going to put adjustable cam gears in, it would be exactly the same process, but you'd obviously put the, the different cam gear in here. But um, So that's tight there. Then back into my soft jaws. Again out with my 14mm. There we go. Then I just need to do exactly the same for the um, exhaust gear. Here we have the rear timing cover. Um, you can see the old uh, seal. So what I'll do is just remove that out of here. It comes away easily. Uh, then what I'll do is I'll just quickly um, clean this up. Then I've just got the new seal here, just drop it into place.
walk it in. Then to secure the cover we have uh, three bolts. So first we place this in like so. Then there's uh, two long, like this. One in this point here. Which goes in. One here. And then finally a small one which is just placed here. We're almost ready to insert the cams. I need to make sure I've lubed up the um, rocker arm assemblies and the journals for the cams as well. And then I can just simply um, use my assembly lube and I'm just going to apply liberal amounts to each of these and then on the uh, inlet side I'll do the same. Now it's time to install the inlet cam, you can see this is the inlet cam because I have the uh, cut in there and that's for running the uh, distributor. So you want to feed the cam in like so be careful not to mark up the uh, journal surfaces what I want to do is make sure I have up showing on the cam gear and that's there so for now it's just rested into place. So here the exhaust cam doesn't have any slot in there, so it doesn't need to run a dizzy. And the same process goes on. Just feed it in. Again, try not to come to contact with the journal surfaces. Again, you want the cam gear stating that it's up. And there we have it. Before we go any further, we need to make sure that the uh, crank is in TDC, top dead centre, and both of the cam gears, which you can see here, are both uh, pointing up, uh, so for the intake and the exhaust. So this is the Honda Bond. I'm going to make sure I put some in this little um, groove, you can see here. So just place it into the groove along there and then on here as well that should be enough and do that both for the exhaust you can see it's marked exhaust and also for the um, inlet as well just like so we get the cam carriers or cam caps on there we need to make sure we put the assembly lube on all of the um, surfaces of the cam lobes and on the um, the journal um, surfaces as well, so that should be good. Now I've made sure that the um, this engine assembly lube isn't where I'm trying to insert the um, ultra grey uh, sealant because that wouldn't work then. Um, so I'm just going to place the first of the cam carrier caps on the exhaust side. So you see it has two little dowels in here. You can just see that. And then these go with the corresponding uh, points here. I'm just going to place that in there. I think I'll just be able to tap that into place. That's it. Again, two little dowels. Place this like so. Rubber hammer. That's it. 
and then just work your way back through all of the um, cam carriers. Then you get the last remaining cam cap for the inlet side, place some ultra grey um, here and here. The taps with the double mallet. There are then two different types of cam seal that you can use um, for the exhaust. So here we have the OEM standard one, and if I was going to use that again, I would just replace the rubber ring there and uh, just place that in. I'm not going to do that though because I've got a nice skunk two. Uh, item and you can see it's got three rings. One thing I'm going to do before I go any further is install um, a Honda bond onto the actual uh, seal itself. This is probably overkill but um, I'd rather do this than have it leak. Then just place some Honda bond here and here. Get the cap in place. then we can just go with a finger and just um, remove any excess ultra grey uh, which is seeped out the sides. I need to install the cam rails so you can see here I have the one for the um, inlet so I'm going to just place that in and then for the exhaust same again notice there's a couple of dowels in there just make sure to go in place sit properly. When you're set with uh, both the cam rails in there and all the bolts in there you can just begin to uh, just snug each of them down, don't torque them up yet, that process comes afterwards. So you want to turn each bolt a quarter of a turn at a time. So I'm going to start off with my 12mm um, socket on a half inch ratchet and I'm just going to try and tighten each of them. So one and two and three and four and five and six and seven then eight and nine and ten and then these little ten mils on the end don't go mental on these because they're only 10 mil bolts. So now everything's snugged up, I'm going to torque everything up with a 27 Newton meters on a 12 mil uh, socket. Start from the inside out. So, number one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So then when the interior 12mm uh, uh, bolts are torqued up, we need to torque up the 10mm on the exterior. And this is just um, 9.8 um, Newton meters. So I'm just going to torque them up. That's it. Then here. And that's talked up. So then we're going to move over to the um, inlet cam and start with the middle and then work on the outside again. 